how deep the bullet lies Unaware that I'm tearing you asunder There's a thunder in our hearts, baby So much hate for the ones we love Tell me we both matter, don't we? frustrated um, and angry but yeah just in the last what five weeks I've virtually done um, close to no training um, my biggest training week well I'll, I'll go back um, we had school holidays and I was doing a lot of work um, we're taking the kids out to a lot of places support Arthur um, just, just spending quality time with the kids and so that interfered greatly with my training um, and you can show a dusting of motivation not wanting to train in that. I've been really struggling with the motivational side since coming off my bike at uh, Ironman Western Australia. Um, so that's, it's all recipe for disaster. I start, um, the kids go back to school and I thought, right, we've got to force ourselves into this. So I start training. I put in um, three good solid days of training. I thought, yeah, yeah perfect. It, w it wasn't easy day. Like it wasn't easy to get it out. I had to push myself to get out, get out and do them. Um, but that's what happens when you spend two weeks virtually doing no training um, with the kid because you school holidays. But then my wife gets her um, had to get her appendix out, her emergency surgery, and you know there goes another two weeks of. Um, not doing a lot, you know, make it, because the stuff she would do, um, and you don't really know what the other person does around, your partner does around the house until they can't do it. Um, you know, all of a sudden, grocery shopping, um, th that takes a long bloody time, and you've got to use a lot of bloody melon for that. Um, you know, cleaning up every day, it, it, so it was, and her, her recovery was very slow, it um, took a lot longer than everyone thought, so it was two weeks of doing nothing, and you know, we're, what are we, we you know, a month out of Ironman, and I've done uh, four or five weeks of virtually nothing, um, it's getting very, 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 very frustrating indeed, uh, I'm not, not an emotional guy, but I am an angry guy when it comes to crap like this, but I can't, point my anger really at anything or anyone because uh, it's just life I can't point it at you know I like to internalize um, things at these days but I can't you know, some, some of it I should be internalizing especially not um, driving myself in the motivational side um, but I can't get angry at the kids because you know, you, I want to spend time with them. I want to take them out to places on school holidays. I can't get angry at the wife because she had no control over her her, her appendix. Um, I can't c get angry at work because they pay my pay for my livelihood. livelihood. Um, so, but I am very, very angry and frustrated at the moment. And if uh, if I wasn't documenting all this, I'd be just saying, "Look, that's it. I'm I'm done and dusted." So in the last couple of days, things haven't gone um, 
have, haven't improved, unfortunately. I'm still frustrated. I'm getting a couple of training sessions in. Um, I'm forcing myself to do them, but my motivation's low because it, all my plans have just gone into the toilet at the moment. I just can't... I had this high, high expectation when I first started this, and I'm not even going to be within Kuwi distance of it. So that's it's probably mecca, uh, mucking me up in the head more than anything. Um, so I don't know whether I should postpone it through um, to see if you do Ironman Western Australia again or whether I should just quit or go through um, do Ironman Canto. I'm going to give uh, Lee a call who runs race and recovery down in Hobart. He's an awesome, awesome bloke. Always has the... Um, right things to say to me. So I'll give, give him a quick call. <laughs> G'day Lee, it's Tim Egg here. Um, have you got a moment, mate? Yeah. I was just going to chew your ear out. Um, nah, crap, mate. Um, thing, very, very frustrated. Things um, haven't gone according to plan. You know, since coming, since I spoke to you, uh, since coming off the bike uh, in Western Australia, things have just gone pear shaped in the head more than uh, anything. Um, yeah, I've lost a lot of drive. You, you know, I'm three kilos heavier than um, what I was at Western Australia. Um, my training diary looks like I'm training for a sprint triathlon locally, not a um, a nine man. So I'm wondering. Uh, Right. Yeah, I'm actually glad I spoke to you, mate. You, you've um, it's exactly what I needed to hear, and, and probably not what I want to hear, but it's probably exactly what I needed to hear. Now, so thank you, thank you very much, Lee. I really appreciate your help, mate. Jeez. Jeez is a great guy. Um, Lee, who um, Lee's basically just said, "Screw it, just go up and have some fun." Um, Try and clear your brain. Yeah.